Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial we'll write a Python program to display a simple calculator. So this calculator will perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So without talking much, let's begin with the program. So in the Python file, so first as I said, this program will perform addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And here in this program, we'll perform this operation within a function, okay? That is nothing but we'll define a function for addition, we'll define a function for subtraction, we'll define a function for multiplication, we'll define a function for division. And inside the function, we'll perform addition, multiplication, subtraction and division, right? So first we'll do that. So I'll define function for addition. So I'll take function name as add and we'll perform this uh, operation on two operands. So I'll take here two parameters and inside this, I'll just print the message. So I'll take a plus b is equal to a plus b. So what it will do is whatever the character which we wrote inside the double quotes, that will be printed as it is to the output. And for a, b and a plus b, it will print the value present in that variable. So this is for the add function. Next we'll define the subtract function. So def, I'll take the function name as sub and I'll take parameters as a comma b and I'll print. So here also same. So here minus and here also minus. So this is the function body of subtraction function. I'll copy this and for multiplication, I'll take the function name as mul multiplication and here the operator is multiplication operator and here I need to perform the multiplication. So this is the function body of mul function. Next we need division. So we are done with the functions. So we defined four function addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, right? These are the function definitions, right? It will execute only when these functions are called. Next in the program, what we'll do is first I'll print a message like hello, welcome. So in the program, first we need operands, right? To perform any operation, we need operands. So here we'll take the operands from the user. We'll take the user input and we'll take two operands. So I'll take first operand name as n1. The variable name is n1. And I'll use input function to take input from the user. And here I'll write the message as first number. Enter the first number. And this number will be stored in the variable n1. But here I'm using Python 3 and in Python 3 by default, this input function will take input as the string value. But here we want number that is the integer number. So I'll convert the input to integer using int function. So now we are done with the first operand that is it will take the first number and it will store that integer number in the variable n1. Next, we want another number, right? To perform this operation, we need two operands. So here I'll take the second input. Enter the second number. So we are done with the operands now. Now we need to perform the operation. And here we can perform four types of operation. That is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. We need to allow the user to choose this operation here. So for this, I'll give this option to user. That is nothing more. First, I'll display what and all operation is available in the program. That is here, if I press one, it will be for addition. Next, here for two, it is subtraction. Three, multiplication. Four, division. If you press one, that will be addition. If you press two, that will be for subtraction. If you press three, that will be for multiplication. If you press four, it will perform division, right? So next I'll ask the user to enter which operation he want to perform. So here I'll take variable name as a and c answer and I'll ask the user to enter which operation you want to perform. 
ओके सेलेक्ट फ्रॉम दिस वन एडिशन टू सब्ट्रैक्शन थ्री मल्टीप्लीकेशन फोर डिविजन बट हियर वन टू थ्री आर नथिंग बट द इंटीजर वैल्यू सो हियर आई नीड इंटीजर इनपुट हियर यूजर कैन एंटर वन फॉर एडिशन टू फॉर सब्ट्रैक्शन थ्री फॉर मल्टीप्लीकेशन फोर फॉर डिविजन दैट एंटर्ड इनपुट विल बी स्टोर्ड इन दिस वेरिएबल आंसर सो नेक्स्ट वी आर डन विद द ऑपरेंट्स एंड वी ऑल्सो आस् द यूजर टू एंटर द ऑपरेशन विच यू वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म now if you press 1 i want to perform addition that is nothing but i want to call this function to perform the addition if you press 2 i want to go here i want to execute this function definition if you press 3 i need to perform this function definition if you press 4 i need to perform this division right we have four choice we can perform four operation based on the user input to do this we need to use if elif else conditional statement here so if if the user choice is 1 that means we need to perform the addition so i need to call add function and in the add function call we need to pass the operands here operands is nothing but n1 and n2 right so i am passing that next elif if the user choice is not 1 then we'll check whether it is 2 if it is 2 that means we need to call subtraction function right sub function else if if the user choice is not 1 not 2 if he enter the operation as multiplication that is nothing but 3 so if ans is 3 the value stored in the variable is 3 then you need to call the multiplication so the mul function name is mul and pass n1 and n2 else if if ans is 4 that is nothing but division so call division function right next comes else part in the else part i'll take choose the correct option or operation so what happens is here we are asking the user to enter the input right which operation he want to perform 1 2 3 4 if he enter 1 that is for addition 2 for subtraction 3 for multiplication 4 for division if he enter 1 we'll call the add function if he enter 2 we'll call the subtraction function if he enter 3 we'll call the multiplication function if he enter 4 we'll call the division function if he enter the number other than these 1 2 3 4 then it will print this message choose the correct operation okay so now we are done with the program so this is the function definitions and here we are taking the operands and uh, which operation user want to perform and also here we can see if we choose one what will happen if we choose two what will happen like that right so let's execute this program so save and execute So first it will print this message hello welcome enter the first number so i'll take the first number as 10 enter the second number i'll enter the second number as 20 so addition subtraction multiplication division which operation you want to perform all right so let's perform the addition so i'll enter 1 and press so it will print 10 plus 20 is equal to 30 so now if you want to perform any other operation then we need to again execute this program So now again I want to perform subtraction like this. So this is the problem of this program now. If I want to perform any other operation now I need to close this and again I need to execute this program, right? So to solve this problem you can do one thing. You can execute this program until you want to quit. So for that you need to add a loop here. You can add the loop for this also. you can take new input for each operation you can ask the user to enter these numbers again and again but i'm not doing that i'll perform different operation for the same inputs okay so same operands so that's why i'll remove this i'll take control x that is nothing but i'll cut the code next here i'll use a while loop while true i'll take the condition as while true that means it is always true it will execute the loop continuously now i'll paste the code okay. i'll press control v so now indent it correctly so now here 
after this if elif else conditional statement inside that while true condition i'll ask the user if he want to quit so if he want to quit so i'll take a variable and i'll take input from the user okay if you want to quit so you can quit the program whenever you want if you want to quit press yes okay you need to press yes y e s in this small case so to continue press any button so if you want to quit you need to press yes otherwise you can press any button right so next here in the choice if choice is equal to equal to yes here i'm taking input right so that means it will take the string input so here i need to use this if the user enter yes that means he want to quit so i'll use break statement here what this break statement will do it will come out of the loop so when i use break so if the user enter choice as yes that means it will come out of this while loop okay it will stop the execution of the program so at last outside the while loop i'll print thank you message okay so here what i am doing is i am taking a while loop i'll take the condition as true true means it is always true at the end of the while body i'll ask the user to enter if you want to quit he need to press yes and to continue you can press any button so if the user enter yes that means he want to quit so i use the break statement here this break statement will come out of the loop and it will execute this statement so let's see the output so enter the first number so i'll take the same number 10 and 20 so addition subtraction multiplication and division which operation you want to perform so first i want to perform addition so i'll do this so after performing this operation it will ask if you want to quit press s to continue press any button i want to continue so i'll press enter button so it, it again will ask you which operation you want to perform now i want to perform subtraction okay it will perform subtraction and it will ask again whether you want to quit no i'm i don't want to quit so i'll press enter button so again i want to perform the multiplication here we can see again i don't want to quit so i'll press enter button so now i want to perform division so i'll perf so i'll press 4 so again it will ask press any button i'll press enter and which operation you want to perform right so i want to perform i'll press 6 okay and if i enter choose the correct operation here we can see choose the correct operation and it will ask whether you want to quit i'll press yes okay i want to quit so it will print thank you message and it will stop the execution of the program right okay so in this way you can display a simple calculator in python programming language so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care